those of you who don't know much about Dan and Felicia's story, they met after college while they were both networking in the photography business. They started talking on Facebook about cameras and other photography things. They started talking a lot. He was out of town telling a friend about this awesome girl, and the friend asked how long they had been dating. And he said, actually, I haven't asked her out yet. Put into motion right there, he finally shot her a text saying, we don't have to get married or anything, but you, will you go on a date with me when I get home? <laughs> <laughs> Let us hear. <laughs> Felicia really appreciated that from the beginning, he always treated her right, and he was the person that she could go to about everything. She loved that they would even pray together. Everything lined up spiritually, mentally. She loved how he always puts others first before himself. Dan recognized from the beginning that she was different from most girls. He was going through a difficult season when they first met, and she offered to pray with him. Her constant care was different from anything he had ever experienced from someone not in his family. That progressed more and more over the next year. She showed her love before they ever said the words. She loved his family and the people who were important to him as well. They got asked to do a, a job in Belgium and had an exciting opportunity to travel there for work. Dan knew that he wanted to marry Felicia, and he felt this trip was the perfect time to do it. Then in this beautiful town in the sticks of Germany, he talked her into hiking up a mountain and he began to set up the cameras. As a fellow photographer, Felicia wanted to know why he was setting up a video to take stills. He set up the camera and proposed on the top, and the church bells in the town started chiming right after they proposed. Now, by the power vested in me by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Dan's a great guy, but I want to give you all a window into what it's like to have Daniel Mumbert as your younger brother. Uh, we're in a small skiff, a little 15-foot Carolina skiff going out toward a river that is too big for a 15-foot skiff. And we're headed out, and the weather was great, but of course it kicked up. And uh, I'm trying to be cool because I'm the older brother, right? I'm supposed to know what's going on. And he said, Dave, the difference between you and I is, you know that feeling that you have right now? And I said, yeah, I know that feeling I have right now. And he goes, right, I have it too, but when I get that, I go the opposite direction. <laughs> and that was that. Except that a week later, I got a text message from him that said triumphantly, hey man, I'm in Virginia on the skiff. <laughs> he told me that he wanted to be a good husband, that he wanted to do it right, that he was gonna do it right. And I know he's gonna do it right because Daniel Mumbert does what he says he's gonna do. Even if it looks crazy, he's gonna do it. So uh, Dan and I are making a look right now because I am one of his childhood best friends growing up. And to say that we didn't cause trouble would be an understatement. And to, to come to this point of, of seeing him caring and loving and sacrificing for an amazing girl like Felicia, it's amazing. And I'm so glad that I get to be part of this and that we can celebrate this. And Dan's going to be the most loving, caring, awesome husband we can even imagine. And uh, it's going to be a great family. And so here's to Dan. Here's to the couple. We love you.